Welcome back, teachers. We all know the importance of staying organized, but sometimes juggling lesson plans, meetings, and parent communication can feel overwhelming. We'll stress not. Together, we're going to explore how to leverage Google Classroom and Google Calendar to enhance your classroom management and help you and your students stay organized. In this video, I'll share how Google Calendar and Google Classroom, when used together, can be your secret weapon for time management success, not to mention significantly improve your efficiency and create a more structured learning environment. Let's begin with a quick overview of your calendar views. Depending on your preference, you can toggle between different calendar views by clicking on the drop down menu on the top right. Here, we are in month view, which is great for visualizing long term deadlines, upcoming meetings, as well as school holidays or breaks. You'll notice all day events are shown in color on your month view and events scheduled at a specific time are shown with a colored dot next to them. We'll discuss the colors a little later. In day view, you can see your schedule for the day hour by hour. As you see here, I have an all day event located at the top of the day and three events each scheduled at a specific time. The calendar events are represented in the colors I have chosen for each calendar. We'll get to that later. From the calendars linked to the Google Classrooms I'm teaching, you can see I have assignments due in civics and science. These are set for a specific time. I also have an all day event reminding my students about their civics test. I'll talk more about this in just a bit. Lastly, I have a meeting reminder on my calendar. Week view gives you a good overview of upcoming events throughout the week. Again, you will see events scheduled all day at the top of that day. The last calendar view we'll look at is schedule view. Here, you will see your events in a vertical list format. This view is particularly useful for quickly scanning your day or week, identifying times when you're free or busy, or seeing when events on your other calendars might be overlapping. Keep in mind when in schedule view, if there's nothing scheduled for that particular day, the day will not be visible on your list. Now that you know how to set a calendar view that you prefer, let's talk about adding events to your calendar. First, click the Create button and select Event. Next, on the pop-up window, give your event a title. You have the option to set the event for a specific date and time, or by clicking on the date, the All Day box will appear, allowing you to make the event for the entire day. This might be helpful for certain reminders such as a school event or trip, or even a reminder about a due date such as a document you need to submit to your administration, or a form, project, or test for your students. Once you set the date, time, and location, if applicable, you can add attendees to your event if needed. This could be parents, other teachers, or even students. Need your event to include a virtual option? Click the Add Google Meet video conferencing. By using the description field, you can include essential details or even attachments. You might include important information about homework assignments, provide project instructions, attach a study guide, or a document requiring a signature. Next, I'll show you how to add or change a reminder notification. This event is set for all day, so I have options to remind several days before, the day before, or even the day of the event. For events that are set to a specific time, you can adjust the timing for a notification and select how long, 5, 10 minutes, or 1 hour before, that you want to receive your reminder. Reminders will appear in your email and on your mobile device if you have notifications set. When adding a calendar event, make sure you're adding it to the appropriate calendar. You can do this by clicking on the drop down menu next to the calendar icon. For this calendar reminder, I want to make sure I'm adding it to the calendar for my math Google Classroom. I'll share more about this on the next slide. 
And last but not least, don't forget to save your event. As you're probably aware, assignments, quizzes, and quiz assignments only that are created in Google Classroom will appear on your classroom calendars, including the calendars of the students who are enrolled in the classrooms. What you might not know is you can add an event or reminder to the classroom calendar just as you would your own calendar. Need to remind students about an upcoming test or project or due date for a permission slip? You can set event reminders to help keep them on track. Simply click create and add the event. Be sure that you're adding it to the appropriate classroom calendar. Want to put a reminder on all your Google Classroom calendars? Here's a tip. When creating the event, you can eliminate the need for duplicating each event by clicking on the guest section. Here, you can directly input the specific Google Classroom or classrooms where the reminder or task is needed. It can be an all day event as seen here or at a specific day and time and it automatically reflects as an event on your calendar and the calendars of your students who are enrolled in that classroom, ensuring seamless communication. Here's a view of how the classroom calendars appear on your students' Google Calendar. Students can easily click on any calendar event to see the reminder, and clicking on the calendar events created in Google Classroom will take them directly to that question, assignment, or quiz assignment in the appropriate classroom. Here are a few quick tips on keyboard shortcuts when in your calendar. To ensure your keyboard shortcuts are enabled, you'll want to go to your calendar settings by clicking the gear on the top right of your calendar. Select Settings, then on the right-hand menu under General, click on Keyboard Shortcuts to make sure the Enable Keyboard Shortcuts box is checked. Once enabled, you can click the Control and Question Mark keys while in your calendar to see helpful shortcuts using simple keystrokes. Want to quickly switch between calendar views? You can click 1 or D to see the day view, and instantly switch to week view by clicking 2 or W. Want to receive a daily notification in your email that contains your calendar events for the day? You can do this by going to the settings gear, clicking settings, and scrolling to settings for my calendars. Select the calendar you want to update and then choose other notifications. From the daily agenda option, click the drop-down menu and select email. This will provide you with a daily email containing a summary of your calendar for that day. Feeling the need for more than one calendar, such as one for your department, school-sponsored club, or sport, you can create a secondary calendar for just that. Click the plus sign next to other calendars and choose Create New Calendar. Next, give your calendar a name. You can also add a description, but it's not necessary. Then click Create Calendar. You can customize your calendar colors by hovering over the calendar and clicking the three dots. If you don't like the color shown, simply click the plus sign to customize the calendar to a color you prefer. Want a special combination of colors? Here are the hex codes for a variety of colors you might want to try. The color possibilities are just about endless. Color coding your calendars allows you to easily differentiate between the calendar linked to your district email and your Google Classroom calendars. You can even personalize the colors for your other calendars Seeing your events and activities with these uniquely colored calendars will help with visual clarity and organization. Feeling like you have too many calendars showing? You can always hide the calendars you don't want in your view. 
There are two ways to hide a calendar. The first is unchecking the box to the left of the calendar you don't want to see, and it will no longer be visible. When you want to see it again, just check the box. For calendars you want to hide from viewing in your list of calendars, you can opt to hide them from view by hovering your mouse over the calendar you want to hide. Then click on the three dots. A pop-up menu will appear allowing you to select hide from list. This is not removing the calendar. It is only hiding it from your view. If you want to add the calendar back, you can do so in your settings, which I'll share next. When you want to add the calendar back that you've hidden from your view, you can do so in your calendar settings. Click on the settings gear in the top right corner of your calendar, then scroll down to the left side of your settings until you see settings for my calendars. From here, you will see the calendars you have hidden from view with the eye crossed out. Clicking on this icon will allow the calendar to be visible again. Let's talk for a minute about Google Tasks. It's like a magic to-do list that lives right in your pocket or your laptop. Google Tasks is always there so you can stay on top of your schedule no matter where you are. You can find Google Tasks on the right side apps menu on your Gmail or Google Calendar by locating the blue circle with the check mark. Google Tasks lets you create different tasks to keep track of what needs to be done. Just click add task and type away. You can also add a date and time if you prefer. Want more than one list of tasks? You can also add different lists to organize your tasks. By clicking the drop down menu to the right of your list and clicking create new list, you can add lists by class, sponsored clubs, work reminders, and more. Not all tasks are created equal. You can use the star icon to mark your most important tasks. This way, you know what to focus on first and avoid any last minute scrambles. Finished with the task? The most satisfying feeling is checking it off your list when it's completed. Google Tasks lets you mark tasks as complete, giving you a sense of accomplishment and keeping your list focused on what needs to be done. Need to check your classroom or calendar or email on the go? No problem. Let's see how you can access these Google applications from your mobile device. You can download these apps on your phone or tablet to access your emails, events, and assignments all from the palm of your hand. The links and QR codes on this page will take you directly to the App Store. You can pause this presentation to download the apps on your device. The links and QR codes on this page will take you directly to the Google Play Store. Pause this presentation to download the apps on your Android device. If you're ever in need of additional support with Google Calendar, you can always visit support.google.com forward slash calendar to see a variety of topics with helpful directions. So there you have it, Google Calendar and Classroom. Think of them as your personal agendas that you can access anywhere, anytime. These tools are sure to keep you and your students organized and help enhance your work productivity. Have a fantastic school year.